Hi there. Now here we have a question on arithmetic sequences and if you'd like to have a go at this just give you a moment to pause the video so you've got time to read it through and try it. When you come back you can check your work solution against mine. Okay welcome back then if you had a go. So how do we calculate the number of computers sold from 2000 to 2000 inclusive? Well, this relies on this particular formula here, the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence. These are the terms a, a plus d, a plus 2d and so on. And uh, if you're unsure of this, do check out my video tutorials on arithmetic sequences, which you'll find on my website. So we know the first term it was 150. We know the common difference, it was 10. We just need to know how many terms there were. Well, let's just start this off by putting an intro in and we'll have the total number sold. And it's going to be equal to 150 for the first year in 2000 plus the next year it went up by 10, so it's going to be 160, 170 then, and so on, all the way up to the year 2013. But this is not the 13th year. Remember, 2000 was the first year we're talking about. 2001 was the second year. So when it comes to 2013, this is the 14th year. Okay, so you've got to be careful on that bit there. Okay, so that means that we've got 14 terms here. And so this is going to be equal to S14 in this formula. So if we put in our values, we've got 14 divided by 2 for n over 2. It's then twice the first term, so that's two lots of 150 first term being 150, and then plus n minus 1, so that's going to be 14 minus 1, times the common difference, which is 10. Well, if you work this out, you should find you get 3,010. 3,010 computers then were sold in that time period. Okay, so I hope that's of some use to you, and that brings us to the end of this question.